hello guys and girls uh, the video is titled the price of wars leaders pay so basically i'd be talking about uh, leaders getting assassinated as a result of them waging or being a party uh, to wars with uh, nation or nations of almost equal power and uh, sometimes uh, they get assassinated after the win sometimes they get assassinated or executed actually by law uh, for losing the war and uh, probably starting it in the first place or being a party of it uh, a little bit back about myself i am a fortune a time cnn money profiled uh, a national ceo tech entrepreneurship award winner also i won the most improved writer award from america's uh, you know best college broadsheet four year uh, they won the apple media award after i started writing for them and my articles were cited in them winning the award uh, actually you have to submit articles and then they judge the quality of writing that gets published uh, so basically you know i'm an award-winning writer a marketer an innovator an inventor and also an entrepreneur. I started like five companies of my own when I was still in college and I used to write business plans to support myself. In fact, I started writing business plan in 2000 itself and prior to that I wrote uh, you know, papers uh, that won national awards in India for nuclear waste disposal or gaseous emissions and its control or did a presentation on you know, revolutionary power source or receding toy. So I won awards at IIT Kanpur uh, you know, Kanpur was ranked number one and still is for aerospace and others. I My first poem, True Religion, was published in grade seven and I also won state level bronze award for philatelic exhibition or history of space technology. So you can uh, grasp a little bit about, you know, my IQ and, uh, you know, my basically uh, academic achievements, whether it be in the field of, you know, like nuclear waste, on just nuclear technology in general and uh, space and of course things like uh, that I invented like a universal smart card for storing data for filling uh, forms automatically you know like RoboForm it does with the desktop laptop and USB mine does with the smart card for health and financial uh, and uh, loyalty purposes basically one card for all your needs it was initially called universal card solutions UCS or US for short if we don't use the card part and then renamed IRC Solutions and then I started a subsidiary in IRC Consultants, Real Pool Health Network, Rakshak and a few others. Like Rakshak, there was Barack Obama right after that. Uh, okay, so uh, I have won multiple awards. I was, uh, you know, a finalist at Georgia Tech also and in MBA Jungle in two different years, even though I didn't actually accept the MBA admission at Georgia Tech. Uh, which was ranked 26th for uh, business and uh, uh, obviously uh, first for engineering in my stream and in general you know uh, when George Bush was president and re-elected so okay let's get to the topic India has this uh, or had this Gandhi dynasty actually Shah dynasty uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar was the last uh, Mughal emperor of India who was uh, you know basically put uh, in prison, uh, like in his own palace, uh, when the British took over, uh, you know, like first as e Dutch East India Company and then Crown in 1857. So, uh, and uh, so Indra married uh, this Feroz Shah, and prior to that Nehru came in. So basically, Nehru Gandhi dynasty, because she married Shah, which uh, name sounds similar to a Muslim person, she chose Gandhi instead. And uh, Gandhi is called the father of Indian nation and is all all Indian currencies. So basically, she thought that would give her a significant political mileage and also justification because she was not the male heir to Nehru, but a female. Like, uh, you know, Razia Sultana had come in, but she was not recognized and she was actually uh, executed by her own uh, stepbrother, who later assumed power. So she, Razia Sultana was uh, India's empress for a year, almost. Uh, so let's talk and that's also you know um, getting killed because of war in that case war in the own dynasty so okay 
uh, Indira Gandhi was assassinated on October 31st, which is Halloween in America, uh, by three of her own Sikh bodyguards, Satwan Singh, Balwan Singh, and Bayan Singh. And they sprayed her with eight bullets that hit her, and she died during operation. Uh, well, basically, she was almost dead. Uh, you know, who can survive eight bullets uh, to the abdomen and the chest? Um, 84 plus 8 is 92, which is code for Pakistan, with which she fought the 1971 war and uh, made uh, Bangladesh independent, which obviously no country, no self-respecting country would like having half their territory chopped off, uh, whether they had it for good uh, or bad reasons. Uh, basically, there was a, a war based on linguist, and obviously Punjabis um, occupy uh, uh, significant positions and pretty much all the positions in Pakistan, even now, Sindh and other regions are ignored. So the Bangladeshis, uh, the Bengali-speaking population decided to become independent and, uh, you know, they found an ally in India which wanted to chop off Pakistan's uh, eastern wing. So they wouldn't have to, you know, worry about Pakistan as much fighting war on two fronts, or actually three if we look at the other side of Bangladesh on the northeastern front. So, and they thought that way, you know, Pakistan's Chinese connection could also be counter because Bangladesh is closer to China than Pakistan is. All the Pakistan uh, via Aksai Chin, which are gifted to uh, Pakistan and other parts of Kashmir does touch, uh, you know, the Muslim part of Pakistan, the Uyghur region. Uh, I mean, Kashmir, uh, via Kashmir, China. Okay, uh, so Indra was assassinated, the date 84, year and 8 bullets 92. Uh, <clears throat> and Sanjay, uh, her oldest son, you know, died. Uh, he was, uh, you know, basically also probably assassinated. They don't tell the real story, but he died in a uh, weird uh, air accident. And uh, that is 60, 623, which is 65, on which there was another war with Pakistan. And 65 plus 6, if you write 6 again, 656, 6, 71, you know, the Bangladesh War, the third war. Uh, Nehru had also fought, you know, the Kashmir War and the 60s War with, uh, you know, uh, Pakistan and also 62 War with China, uh, which is an ally of Pakistan. And at that time, there was a danger of Pakistan opening its own front also so uh, you know basically okay so Sanjay Gandhi paid the price and Rajiv 91 91 being quote for India but uh, if you look at 521 it's 71 and he died at age 46 which is uh, you know half of 92 so basically Pakistan was chopped in half by his own mom so uh, the Gandhis were made to pay Rajiv uh, Sanjay and Indra and uh, Sonia Gandhi didn't become Prime Minister nor did Rahul for fear of uh, political assassination by either Khalistanis or LTTE or ISI or in general she being Italian wasn't recognized uh, as a natural leader for Indians. Uh, she was still considered and probably is considered a foreigner. Or, uh, okay, coming to Pakistan now, the Bhutto senior was uh, legally executed for losing uh, uh, the war with India and being a part of it, you know. So uh, no self-respecting nation would forgive its leader for losing a war, you know, military leader or a president, political leader. So basically he was uh, hanged and there is a funny video on YouTube and it's a documented fact that his executioners offer him tea and then execute him. And then they offer him tea and then after that uh, they execute him uh, royally. Uh, his daughter was also executed on uh, 1228 which is the 362nd day and 33 plus 6 is 9 and 92. So 92, 91. We'll talk about them in uh, you know notori notorious, famous or notable assassinations. That would be the second video. Uh, so we have covered India and Pakistan. I'm coming to America, you know, John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy and John F. Kennedy Jr. were assassinated because of uh, uh, John F. Kennedy not standing up to the big bully uh, United States uh, senior, USSR. So, uh, you know, basically, um, he was... 
okay we are actually losing the video uh, power got cut so um, I have to move outside okay power back on this is the second time they have done it with this video I'm talking about political uh, executions and uh, the uh, the electric uh, as you can see there there's an electric circuit the guys uh, don't like it the first video did also magically for some reason didn't appear on YouTube I was recording it directly using YouTube software unlike this time when I'm using my phone the Samsung M1 core as you can see uh, Samsung M1 core uh, so guys uh, we are back uh, so as I talked about John F. Kennedy uh, assassination that was on due to him not standing up to USSR uh, in the Vietnam War he was supposed to send more drafts overseas wherein Vietnam war uh, and especially the Viet Cong like Taliban were supported by USSR and America was fighting them um, so you know uh, and they had moved uh, nuclear missiles or at least missiles uh, I think they were nuclear missiles that's what you know uh, official data says in the Bay of Pigs Cuba and there was the Cuban Missile Crisis and around that time frame he was executed because the military hawks in Pentagon and even uh, CIA didn't like him being soft towards USSR and not actually fighting a war which could have been a nuclear all-out world war World War three with the USSR with neither US or USSR and other countries surviving especially the ones uh, involved like NATO um, so he was uh, executed uh, in Texas Dallas uh, the CMK is 31311 alphanumerically 31311 3 plus 13 is 16 1611 and seventh day seven being code for Moscow is 1122 and seventh day is also significant because uh, in Bible which uh, you know Christians uh, Western world believes in you know and my birthday is also Christmas I also believe uh, God finished creation creating the universe in six days and seventh day being rest so seven days is the total time frame for creation so basically he was executed on 1122 his son was also executed and to add insult to injury his wife married somebody else um, a martyred leader's, uh, a martyred president's wife marrying somebody else is not really nice. Uh, Sonia Gandhi didn't marry anybody else um, in India, but I guess she didn't have options like you know the Greek shipping magnate or tycoon like Onassis. Um, but you know probably she didn't want to lose uh, the Nehru dynasty's wealth and political uh, power because she was Congress president for quite some time, and then Rahul and they have switched uh, and Priyanka also and they get the you know the money the power from the Nehru Gandhi side and uh, they get to say that uh, Indra and Rajiv and was martyred and Sanjay lost his life as well for, for the cause of India and Adolf and Eva Germany uh, they shot themselves as they were losing the war with Soviet Union as the Red Army closed in on Berlin and could have arrested them and tried them for crimes, war crimes uh, uh, against you know Russians uh, and allies and of course uh, uh, you know the Jews uh, like supposedly killing, uh, putting uh, six million plus Jews in concentration camps and getting rid of most of them. To put things in perspective, Israel has about 9 million Jews. So basically, he finished off the Jewish um, uh, people. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, notorious Holocaust incident. There are quite a few movies about it you can check out on YouTube, like uh, The Piano uh, and Life is Beautiful, uh, yeah, The Schindler's List mainly. Okay, uh, so basically, and then uh, Lincoln is another American figure, 16th president, 
who was assassinated by John Wilkins Booth in an uh, American theater for uh, you know uh, defeating the Confederates and keeping America united. So basically, after the and mo actually uh, freeing the slaves. So whether or not the uh, fighting with the rednecks and the Confederates, you know, who are mostly from conservative uh, states, counts. Uh, he was. Uh, killed for freeing the slaves, declaring the Emancipation Proclamation, getting a huge bit of slaves to turn on these confederates and not supporting them. Because these conservatives of plantations had a huge number of slaves and they could have used them to fight uh, uh, the American government. So tactically uh, and strategically, he decided to free the slaves, signed the Emancipation Proclamation, uh, giving uh, the African Americans, then slaves, uh, you know, a carrot to support the American government against the Confederates, uh, their own masters in the South and uh, other states. Uh, so he was also assassinated, and uh, the Texas is where John gets assassinated, and Lincoln uh, gets assassinated by a guy named John in the past. Uh, and Lincoln is like Linde, India, which looks resembles Texas. Uh, and Texans are pretty uh, conservative, actually. Uh, uh, so, anyways, uh, and Gaddafi, another leader, had to pay the price of uh, waging a war on U.S. by having um, a role in uh, the U.S. ambassador Christopher uh, or consul getting, uh, you know, assassinated. So U.S. doesn't take, uh, you know, uh, assassinations lightly, even of, you know, uh, like ordinary uh, civilians, American citizens getting killed. For every American citizen that gets killed by any terrorist organization or a state, they would kill 10 or 100 times as much and put sanctions on that nation or even wage a war and uh, cripple them like they did with, uh, you know, uh, Iraq and other places. So, you know, Gaddafi was executed and Saddam was also hanged after he lost uh, the Gulf War. He had invaded Kuwait and fought with uh, George H. W. Bush, uh, the 41st president, 48th vice president and uh, CIA director. And as you know, CIA and other intelligence agencies mainly employ assassins. And it's not really wise for anybody to fight such organizations uh, staffed by assassins other than analysts which do provide intel and inputs to these assassins operatives on the in the field uh, so he was uh, and george uh, didn't like uh, saddam standing up to his father he took it personally and uh, after 911 he got the excuse to wage a war on iraq saying that uh, iraq had wmds or was pursuing uh, having WMDs and was close and uh, Colin Powell actually gave a statement confirming the same and then you know he invaded Iraq and uh, burned its oil fields stationed its military over there uh, for and then uh, executed uh, had him executed by his own military court on Christmas Merry Christmas rather than sad damn sad damn uh, uh, so that's a wrap for leaders of India, Pakistan, America, Germany, Libya, and Iraq, uh, and having a role also in Kuwait, who had to pay the price of wars, waging wars with uh, you know one, a party nation equal to the stature or not. Uh, you know, and winning or losing uh, said wars. So I th basically, and in historic figure, there is Prithvi Rajohan who fought 17 battles and defeated Muhammad of Ghazni, the invader from Afghanistan, several times before losing in the last war and taken political prisoner, taken to Khan, uh, Kabul, uh, and uh, basically his eyes were gouged out, and uh, he was he tried to kill that. Uh, Emperor Mohammed Ghazni by shooting a, an arrow using his uh, special skills of, you know, shooting just based on sound. So his court poet describes, who was also taken hostage, describes poetically the position of that um, ruler 
who was trying him in court and he shoots an arrow and actually gets his neck but the guy survives and he gets uh, exe- uh, they basically the the court ga- um, uh, court poet ends up killing him because he would have faced significant torture more than uh, what he had faced you know getting his eyes gouged and his wife raped and her um, you know it's uh, basically her breasts were also chopped off and then there's this rani lakshmi bai um, who was also you know who had to immolate herself basically she burned herself uh, after the british invaded her kingdom stating that she didn't have a legal heir because she had adopted and per their laws you know the kingdom had fallen so basically after her husband had died they moved in stating that she didn't have a child with her husband and the adopted guy would not be the heir and uh, the uh, they didn't even wait for her life to be over and in the battle she lost and she fled and she burned herself not to get uh, you know so called touched and uh, dishonored by the british so uh, these are some of the leaders who had to pay and uh, because i'm from the rathor rajput dynasty ruling dynasty you know um, it's significant that your uh, prithvi raj chauhan's uh, wife is also from sanyukta rathor rathor dynasty from rajasthan and because he had married against the wishes of his father in law you know basically he eloped um, he came to uh, uh, the marriage ceremony when she was to choose from multiple suitors he was informed and he she comes to the door he was pretending to be a door person in disguise and they run away so basically he is not supported by his father in law who could have helped him in the war against mohammad of ghazni uh, but did not and then uh, the rajputs lost to the muslims and then there was mughal rule in india for until the brits came and there were parts of uh, places where uh, the rajputs and or the marathas and other uh, hindu rulers ruled but mostly it was mughal and then british okay guys so that's a wrap please like subscribe and share this video and some more background about me i have my bachelor's degree from michigan tech and masters from georgia tech and i was also accepted in the mba program and i have half my mba from there and as you can see i'm wearing california t-shirt where i was for 9 years uh with my wife and a son who are in indiana